Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and I'm at it again. More solar light creations with things that I found from the thrift store, garage sales, and more. Let's get started. I found this candelabra at a thrift store for $4, and I knew it'd be great for this fall. I was excited to try Folk Art Treasure Gold in the color gold to get started. I started with the tree trunk, and I painted it all with the treasure gold. I instantly fell in love with this beautiful gold color and how well it painted onto the metal. Another quick tip, it's water soluble so it washes right off your hands if you get any on your hands. Once I was done painting, I let it dry. Next, I used Folk Art Treasure Gold in the color Copper to paint the leaves. I painted each leaf with the copper color on both sides of the candelabra. I let the first coat dry and I decided to stop there, but you could easily paint a second coat if you like. Here's the candle holder after the paint dried. I then used super glue fix all adhesive to fill each of the candle holders. I took three solar lights from Dollar Tree and pulled them apart. I placed a solar light in each candle holder spot and then I let it dry completely. I'm super excited with how it turned out. Next, I found these three beautiful wrought iron candle holders at a garage sale. Ironically, I had three glass lampshades already on hand that I was trying to decide what to do with. Again, I used the super glue fix all adhesive and I put it on each lampshade and then placed it on top of the candle holders. I let the adhesive dry for 24 hours. I took three solar lights from Walmart and pulled the stems off. I then placed the solar light tops in the glass lampshades. What I love about these is they're very durable, so they will not blow over in the wind. I found this very large, beautiful candle holder at Goodwill. I again took three solar lights from Walmart and pulled the base off. I placed the solar lights into the candle holders and they were a perfect fit. I was so excited. I think it's so fun to create some of these beautiful creations for your outdoors to create ambiance for your back patio or porch. And here you can see all three of my creations at night. I hope this inspires you to make some solar light creations of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.